Are you listening? Damn. Another episode of Trash Talk. With me, as always, is T.J. O'Connor. Tonight, we have Adam Cast, who's getting ready for his fight November 27th for Valhalla Combat Sports. Trash Talk is brought to you again by Valhalla Combat Sports Incorporated, Ink Shrinks Tattoo on New Brighton, Minnesota, Mile High CBD Buds, and T.J.'s mom. How are you doing tonight, Adam? <laughs> uh, I'm doing great. How about you guys? Doing good. Yeah, I'm doing well. Appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Um, just for the fans that might not know, how about a little background on yourself? You know, how did you get into the martial arts? Um, what's your background into training? Um, you know, I've had about uh, three, four years of jiu-jitsu training. Um, I did about uh, six, seven months of Muay Thai training as well uh, under the academy, under Greg Nelson. Um, recently, uh, it's, it's, it's been kind of a stretch uh, since I've been able to find a home gym since I left the academy. Uh, they got a little expensive, and, uh, you know, I've just been trying to find that home gym where uh, it feels like family. Oh, yeah. No, I, I like that. And uh, when you get a gym and a solid group of guys, you know, it always – the growth starts to – I mean, you see it elevate a little bit. You know, there's a jump start in that, you know. Uh, but what has training been like not having a home gym? You know, uh, you, I know you're getting some work in. You got some uh, got some buddies probably that you're working with. But uh, what gyms are you uh, dabbling in and cross-training with? Uh, right now, actually, you know, uh, when I get the opportunity, I, uh, I love to go to uh, Valhalla on Sundays. Yep. Um, you know, you guys there are, are, are great, great, great fighters, uh, good warriors. Um, I've never met a bunch of group of people. That's, that's actually more like family. Um, I also, uh, train with a few friends out of warriors cove. I, I train with a few people out of, uh, start BJJ. Um, and then as well as, uh, tracks BJJ as well. Okay, so so you're getting some good work in with some good guys, you know. Uh, this fight is a rematch, you know. Uh, yeah. To the people that don't know, this fight took place on the last kick uh, the last kickboxing card that Valhalla had, and you were looking really successful early in that fight. I mean, right. You both came to throw hands. You guys looked amazing in that fight. Uh, are you expecting something new? Are you expecting? Uh, I, what are you expecting in this fight? You know, the last time I, I came out really strong and uh, everything in my game plan was working out. But then uh, I, I didn't follow through with that game plan. I, uh, I started throwing hectic. I seen that uh, my left hand hurt him real bad. Basically, the, the first punch that I landed um, yeah. um, hurt him real bad. And uh, I kind of wanted to just see if I could take him out of there right away. But Noah's, Noah's extremely resilient and extremely tough. Yeah. And and, uh, you know, it didn't work out in the end because I, I lost that game plan. I didn't uh, I didn't slow down and think about my next move. I just wanted to try to take him out right then and there. And uh, he weathered the storm and was able to come out victorious uh, uh, via right head kick which i leaned into to be honest yeah you did i i, I was <laughs> I, I'm, I i hate like pointing stuff out and everything you know like it just kind of sound like a dick you know but like yeah, yeah no it, problem <laughs> it, 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 it happened it, it played out the way it did but you did have some really good success you dropped him yeah. twice early what was going through your mind when right. you seen him stand back up uh those times, you know, because you were saying like he's a resilient guy. I mean, yeah. he's proved he proved it in that fight. But right. man, every time you get a guy hurt, I know just it scares the shit out of me. Like, what the fuck is he? Is is this still going on? Is he right? Is, he's getting up. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, actually, I was I was surprised because I mean, when I hit him with that first left hand, I mean, I hit him with everything with the kitchen sink. I mean, I I, I smacked him hard, hard. And, yeah. And and he literally. The funny thing is, is, in the video, I literally hear his mom get up, and he just rose like like the American zombie. His his new nickname <laughs> after he got after that fight, he just rose up, and then maybe even twenty seconds later, I hit him again, but this time it was with a uh, a one two from the opposite side, so it was a left right combo, yep. and and he got he he got dropped again and got right back up, and I'm like, man, what do I gotta hit this guy with to yeah. put him away because. <laughs> Because, I mean, I hit him with everything I had, and, and still yeah. he stood up. 
Yeah, and uh-huh. that's one of the things I was going to say because uh, that, that was one of the fights I didn't have the chance to make it to in person this year. Um, mm-hmm. But I did watch the fight, um, and, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. When I heard that you guys were going to run it back, I was really interested in that because, like you said, I mean, you came out early, very successful, hit him with a big shot right away, and then you, you used the American Zombie reference. I, I remembered it. It looked like The Undertaker from the old WWF days. He just kind of <laughs> sat up. And then out of nowhere and got to his feet. And that's right. one of the different things about kickboxing compared to an MMA fight, which a lot of our viewers normally were talking about MMA, is when you yeah. hurt a guy, you actually have to step back and see what happens. Damien mentioned, what's what's going through your mind there? You mentioned you hit him with you hit him with your best shot. Does that change anything mentally in the training camp leading up to this fight, knowing that you're fighting a guy that you've hit with your cleanest shot and there's a good chance he's gonna keep coming forward? You know, it actually uh, it made me work more on my cardio because if I'm able to hit him hard and I'm able to keep going and, and to sit back and then time that perfect shot again and again and again, then then I think in the end it's going to make the big difference in that fight. Um, you know, I hit him with everything I can, and then, you know, towards the end, I, I started to actually gas out because, the like I said, the first shot I hit him with was hard, and almost every single shot I hit him with was hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? and and so I've been working a lot on cardio. I've been running uh, the five miles in the morning, and then I do another run at night, which is another mile and a half, plus some bag work and some drills of my own. And uh, I, think, I think in the end that's going to make the difference. Oh, yeah. Was, this, was that your first kickboxing match? That was absolutely my first kickboxing match. Okay, okay. wow. You know, so now you got, you got uh, the experience under your belt, you know, yeah. and you, you are fighting the same guy. And TJ mentioned, you know you can, you can hurt him with the punch. Yeah. How's, right. What, what's the confidence like coming into the fight? We, uh, I mean, you did lose the first one, but are you feeling more confident in this one just because you know what to expect now and you know what a- you're capable of? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you know, um, the first fight I went in there with a uh, with a ton of nerves, um, and I actually was was hitting up a bunch of my uh, fighter friends just to find a, a corner for me for that fight. Um, and uh, Chase Ruger stepped up to the plate. Um, however. He really knew nothing about my style, and and he really knew nothing about me as well. He just came in there and, and was very being very supportive, and so you know, this time this time around, I'm I'm going in with a whole different mindset where I know I know Noah's tough, and I know he's resilient, and I know he's going to get back up if I hit him with some hard shots. But uh, other than that, you know, I've been working my ass off and 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 doing things a little bit different than I did last time, hopefully to secure that victory this time. Oh, yeah. Man, and, and like I said, I, that that better way to word it right there. I, I couldn't be more excited for this fight. I think as far as I mean, the Valhalla Combat shows they always do the night before Thanksgiving. They're always great. They're always fun to go to. I, I think there's such a bet a, a great vibe about being there. You know, on a Wednesday night when you got the holiday the next day, and I think this has the makings of being the fight of the night for the kickboxing portion. Um, just before we wrap this up tonight, are there any teammates, any sponsors, anybody outside of the gym that's been there for you leading up to this fight that you want to give a shout out to? Um, I'd like to give a shout out to, uh, one of my old training partners, uh, Ken Askinet. Um, he's actually a, a heavyweight out of, uh, the Academy, but I've been working with him, uh, pretty thoroughly. Um, obviously if I'm able to work with bigger dudes and, and keep up with bigger guys, you know, people, my size, shouldn't be much of a problem and i used to uh i used to do that back in the wrestling days uh when i wrestled for uh, st michael Albertville in high school um i trained with some of the bigger guys and that helped me out with my own weight class oh yeah so i mean man i like tj expressed it i couldn't be more excited for yeah. this fight especially knowing that i i do know both of you personally and the fact that it was such a great fight the first time and i was actually lucky enough to be the referee for that one <laughs> i had the best seat in the house and right. man, I'm gonna have to be on the outside watching this one this time because it's gonna be full on fan mode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, that was awesome. I mean, I was I was happy that you got to ref it in the first place because you know you're 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 a great fighter, you're a great great ref. So you you know honestly you know what's going on in there though. You know, yeah. you, you know you can see it from a different perspective than than some of the fans and you know some of the other people. You actually get to have that that fighter's perspective of what would be going through your head or what would be going through someone else's head when something happens. 
Yeah, no, I appreciate that, man. And I appreciate the time you took to talk with us today, especially, I mean, we've been juggling this around trying to set it up and right. everything, and we finally got it done. So I <laughs> thank you for working with us, man. Trash Talk is nothing without the fighters. Definitely. Uh, oh, like awesome. and subscribe. Follow Trash Talk with Damien and TJ, you guys. Don't be a bitch. Are you listening? Damn.